I think about some people that are just kind of, they're not particularly ideologically driven much in, you know, any way. Um, and they tend to be uncertain about climate change just in the fact that they're not paying very close attention and they're hearing mixed messages. So they are kind of uncertain. That's some pretty sizable segment of, you know, 20, 30 percent. Some of those folks, information can be enough. I had a teaching assistant in one of my interdisciplinary climate change classes. She was, she's a chemistry major. She hadn't been paying very much attention to climate change. And then she said, oh, I sat through this class and so now I don't eat meat, right? Because you talked about how this drives a lot of greenhouse gas emissions. And I just didn't know that before, right? And so there were people like that. There's some segment that having a you know, good sense of climate literacy, what's driving uh, greenhouse gas emissions, what actions are effective, both uh, individually and collectively, is going to help that, right? Um, and then I think there are people that that's just not going to matter <laughs> at, at all. There's kind of some hardcore skeptics that are at 10%, but you know, a lot can get done with 90% of the people. <laughs>